Oh, howdy, old. Grab yourself a beer. It's time for some Path of Exile discussion. Uh, in previous leagues, if you wanted to get an item with five or six really good mods on it and no influence, usually the best place to do so was Rog the Dealer. Oh, and you talk to Rog the Dealer and bring up his screen. Uh, let's just get rid of this last one that we had and re-roll him. He will offer you a number of items that start getting better, especially as you hit character level 90, but they'll just generally be ordinary rares. However, when you take one of them, he will then offer you a number of crafts on a use it or lose it basis that can enable the item to be far, far, far better than what it already was. So we'll take this just as an example. So here you've got add a prefix mod three times, but only keep the best outcome. Now, when they say best outcome, that means the outcome with the highest minimum level. So we'll give that a shot and see what we got. Upgrade the level of four modifiers by a tier, like things like this that are really powerful crafts that can potentially really boost an item. Now, the reason that Rog hasn't taken the world by storm in the past is that he can't give influenced items very often. And most in-game players want to get rid of their non-influence gear and replace it with influence gear as soon as realistically possible. But 3.17 changes this dynamic. And to do, discuss this, we're going to want to switch over to have a look at one of the items that Bex has teased that will be in 3.17. So this Armageddon Curtain chest plate here is something that was teased by GGG as an example of the new Eldritch crafting. The thing that's important with it is that it has a number of reasonably good mods uh, in terms of its normal mod pool mods. It has a decent chunk of armor, two decent armor mods, then it has Lightning Resistance, PDR, and Benchcrafted Life. All in all, below the line is fairly solid, but you could easily get far better from Rog. And that's the thing that's important. Rog can do much better than this chest place uh, as far as the parts that are not the special implicits go. And then the implicits come on top of that. We don't know how hard it's going to be to get this exact set of implicits. It might be extremely difficult. But there's a bunch of implicits that will be good. And even if these ones are quite rare, then there'll be some accessible ones that are very good as well. So the reason that Rog is looking so good here is that in the past, a Rog crafted six mod chess piece just couldn't compete with even a four mod influenced item. But when you've got the ability to add a Searing Exarch mod and an Eater of Worlds mod onto an item, then suddenly Rog six mod chess pieces start looking a lot better. This is also going to be the case for the glove slot, it's going to be the case for the boot slot, it's going to be the case for the helmet slot. Not necessarily on every build, there will still be situations where some builds will absolutely want a specific influence mod that you just can't get anything equivalent to it on the new Eldritch crafting. So the influence crafting will have its place, and Rog won't help much in cases of crafting items for those builds in those slots. But where Rog will shine is when you are just looking to get a solid foundation that you can then apply your Eldritch crafting to. Lastly, Rog has always been good for crafting amulets. That's not going to change. Rog will continue to be making some very, very, very solid amulets, especially with the new system where plus one to the level of spell skill gems is going to be an amulet mod. All of the various plus one mods that were previously locked behind various influences, these are going to be in the general mod pool, and that is going to make amulets that are crafted from Rog even better as well. That's all I got on that. Uh, may your Valobs have interesting results and may Rog give you the crafts you deserve.